Hello everyone and welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. Today we're going to be doing an actual unboxing of the JBJ 15 gallon QB. For you guys that missed uh, the previous video, you can see I received the tank in the box, didn't do any opening. I wanted to do an opening as the camera was rolling so you guys can experience what I'm experiencing in live time and see my reactions of this beautiful JBJ QB. So I think that's uh, you know enough talking. I'm sure we all want to see uh, this tank out of the box and really check it out. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing of this beautiful 15 gallon JBJ QB tank. I actually really like the name of it. QB, it's, it's really catchy. Um, I really think that was a good move on them as far as naming the tank. And guys, you don't know how difficult it has been to not open up this tank, but I've really been kind of just waiting and uh, to open it as you can see you know it hasn't been opened at all the tape is still on the top the bottom so because I, I want you guys to see it is I'm opening it in uh, live time so you can see my reactions and pretty much just enjoy the experience with me so here we go okay so as soon as we open it we're greeted by two boxes not sure what this is, so I'm gonna open it. Okay, this looks like an AC adapter. It's either, it is probably for the light. I can almost guarantee this is for the light. And I bet you the other one is gonna be the pump. So in here we have, yep. Or no, they're both the same type of adapters. Oh, I see. I get it now. It's because it does have a top on it. So it's all kind of like, you don't have any wires really coming out of it. That's actually pretty smart. So, let's see. can I get these inserts out? These out. And we're gonna get the tank. I probably, here, let's, let's see what the easiest way to get this out. Um, So here's the tank in, on it, in all its glory. It was not that difficult. I probably should have opened the bottom first uh, to get it out. <coughs> so what we're gonna do right now get the top all open. And there's a little bit of yeah, there's like dust um, on it, but that. That should be easily cleaned out. It was probably from the plastic rubbing. Uh, no biggie. Oh, I really like this little feeder door. So let's try to. Yeah, so you can see here where I meant the two adapters plug into here. And then this is probably like for the pump or something else. Actually, we can leave it, we can leave the bottom of it there for now. So, as far as getting this open, it should be pretty straightforward. Okay. Oh, you can actually put it at different levels. There's different notches here, that's actually really cool. So if you don't need it as high, that's actually really cool. So, we got the LED there. You can see the carbon, this foam piece, the carbon foam was releasing a little bit of dust. It's no big deal though. Um, it's to be expected, especially with this type of foam, um, it released dust like that. So I'm gonna take, you can see it's still releasing the dust. So got all the foam um, inserts here. This is all for the mechanical filtration. I'm actually really impressed. Uh, my main thing with nano cubes, uh, and the reason I don't like a lot of them, is because you don't have a lot of space. Uh, this one has, as you can see, it was able to fit all this in this compartment here. So I'm probably gonna 
use like one or two of these, or, or maybe use none of them and use, just use pod matrix, uh, fill it up on one of them. And on the very top, I'll probably do, um, I'll probably do filter floss on the very top and then like pond matrix, like stack them up that high uh, for this chamber. And then this chamber, we have the, uh, the carbon, the activated carbon in here. And I can see now that's where all the dust is coming up from. And then we have our uh, main pump. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get it out to show you guys. So this, I'm actually very happy. Wow, look at this, it's fully adjustable. So that's actually really great. This is fully adjustable flow. I want the most flow, I want it this way. So that's actually really cool. You can fully adjust your flow here. Um, I'm gonna try and run this without a power head. My main goal for this, this tank, guys, is, as I mentioned before, is to build it you know, with, with as little of a budget as possible. Um, you know, I can go out there and, and go all out on it like I did for the 45 gallon, but that's not my goal for this tank. My goal for this tank is to make it where, you know, someone viewing it, it's either new to the hobby or, you know, did it for a while and then got out of it because it was too expensive, where they can come back, watch this video and be like, I can do that. You know, it's not that expensive, not that high maintenance. I can do it. Um, so I really love the fact this is adjustable because we may be able to get away with not using a, uh, a power header and wave maker on this. So I'm really happy with this. This is about 260, uh, I believe it is about 265 gallons a minute. It's a thousand liters, or sorry, gallons an hour. It's a thousand liters a minute, which I think is just under 300 uh, gallons um, an hour, which is plenty for, for this size tank. Um, so we're gonna put that right back in there. Yeah, one thing I, I absolutely love right out of the get-go is the fact that you have so much space in here. Um, if you really want it, you can run a reactor in here. Uh, I probably won't because I'm trying to get this tank set up, you know, with as little uh, money as possible to show you guys that it could be done. Also, another thing I want to take into consideration is false wall. This thing is absolutely solid. <laughs> That's actually really nice of it. It's actually super solid, my God. Um, other than that, I don't notice any cracks in the tank. That's another thing you want to do a little visual inspection. I got to say, guys, this is a low iron glass. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, it looks very clear. The edges are very smooth. Just the overall finish of this tank. For you guys who have been following my 45 gallon tank, you know that um, I love clean look. I'm all about clean, 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 clean. And this tank absolutely delivers that. And you can see everything's nice, hidden away. There's a cover on the LEDs. Um, you know, just a clean finish on this, on the glass. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna get it kind of all out of here. I'm, let me put these back. And what I'm gonna do is get the tank kind of where it's gonna be situated. And we're gonna pretty much end this uh, open box uh, review, or out of the box review, of this JBJ 15 gallon cube. So here we have the tank situated where it's going to be, where it's going to be staying. I'm actually very, very happy with the uh, location of the tank and really like the white look. The screen here on the right is about a 32 inch screen just to kind of give you an idea of how big it is and uh, to get you an even better idea. You can see here I have uh, my MacBook Pro. Um, I think this is like 15 inch. Uh, you can see it here in relation to the tank so it's actually a very good size i you know i'm really happy it's it's not that big um it is big enough but not that big so it's you know if you ask me it's a perfect size so here we, we have what i like to call some beauty sliding shots um, just to give you a better view of the tank um, you can see it's it's absolutely beautiful i really like the the, the finished job on the tank because at the end of the day that you know good to have a tank but even having a really nice finished uh, product like this one makes it look absolutely amazing so here is the uh, top of the tank lifted up as you can see you can see the LEDs are there uh, makes it very easy accessible to the back filtration um, you know if you need to mess with uh, you know your corals add corals move corals move rock add rock um, or just general maintenance you know water changes so you have the, the, the top door on the very right 
Um, that's what, we, what I call the feeding door. I actually think they call it the same thing. Uh, so that's where you can pretty much put your food. If you want more access to the tank or you know you need to touch more stuff or remove more stuff or whatever the case is, you can remove the whole, not remove, but lift up the whole lid. And you can see there that there's little latches. So you can actually set it to different uh, points and it'll stay there. So when you're doing maintenance, it makes it very, very simple. So moving on here, you can see the uh, filtration chambers. There's a total of three. This is the very first chamber here with the foam that I was talking about earlier. Here you can see the inlet uh, for the water. This is where the water comes in. You can see that the false wall is just very, very rigid in here. The return nozzle, I really like it too. It's, it's identical to my JBJ, uh, which is gonna allow me to put the, the little swivel balls on it. Um, so it makes it very simple. I can direct the water exactly how I want it. Um, you know, I'm shooting for no circulation pump, so with this, hopefully, I am going to be able uh, to achieve that without any problem. So, absolutely love it. Following on, we have here the return chamber. This is where the pump is. If you saw earlier, this is where I took the pump out of. Uh, this is a third chamber, so the water uh, goes there and finally exits. We have a second chamber right here, and I like it. I like this chamber because it has a little media basket. You can see here, I can easily lift up the carbon or whatever I want to put there. Makes it very simple for maintenance. Um, and just all in all, easy to access. So that's pretty much it here on the uh, the whole uh, filtration for the uh, JBJ 15 gallon QB. So let's move on to the lights because actually I'm really excited to show you guys the lights. So here they are, you can see it looks very simple, but actually that's what I really love about it. You got the logo, the status LED here for the light. Um, it goes from green to red is from what I've seen. Uh, we also have a brightness control here. It has a total of seven different brightnesses and then color, uh, which is, it does three different colors. is whites, blues, and red as well. And as well, you can blend them all either together individually. Um, and like I said, for the brightness, we can easily control it either be, it has seven different levels of intensity. So we got a feeder here on the right hand side. It makes it very simple to obviously feed the fish. You can see it's very easy. Uh, to lift up or if I want to feed them on this end I can choose to do it any way I like um, it makes it very simple you know very clean um, you know if you do have this tank in the living room it's actually you know looks great and will match and they do make this tank in both white and black to fit uh, your style or your furniture so here you can see the tank again where it is going to be located um, with all my white furniture, you can see why I ended up going with the white one. And of course, for you guys that know me very well, you know that everything I have, if I can make it white, I probably will. Um, obviously, if they sell it white, well, even better. <clears throat> but all in all, I'm very happy with the tank. I'm very happy. It is 15 gallons. It was a little bit more than initially I was shooting for. I wanted to stay under 10 gallons um, just because I thought it was going to be too big. But this 15 gallon, I think JBJ nailed it. They were really able to deliver a punch in a very compact size. Um, so I'm really excited for this journey, guys. I think we're going to be able to take this tank very far. Uh, my main goal is to have at least um, 15 corals in here. Now you guys may be saying, what the heck, 15? Well, you know, they're not going to be huge corals. They're going to be small corals, and eventually, you know, they're going to be growing, so we may have to, you know, put them in another tank or whatever have you. Uh, but my main goal is to have mainly corals in this tank. Um, light fish load, the reason we are keeping the fish load light is I don't want to be doing too much maintenance. And for all of us, especially in reefing, we know that all the maintenance is mainly always coming from fish. You know, you're trying to take out the nitrite or the nitrates, uh, which are created from the fish pooping, the bacteria breaking that down and then resulting in nitrates. Uh, with corals, you know, you do need to do water changes, but it's more of replenishing um, the trace elements. Um, unlike with fish, you know, you're taking out the toxins in the water. Uh, so that's why you need to do maintenance, maintenance a lot more often than you do with corals. All in all though, like I said, I'm very excited for this journey. I am, for you guys wondering, I am going to be doing a full on uh, series on this JBJ QB. Like literally guys, everything. We're going to be covering uh, filtration, uh, how to choose the right rock, how to do the aquascape, um, how to choose the right sand, how much sand, how much rock. Uh, we're going to talk about the, the nitrogen cycle. So pretty much I want it to be that, you know, let's say someone's watching this video that has zero experience whatsoever. I want them to be able to follow this uh, video and this build series and be able to start a, uh, a reef tank uh, or saltwater tank, whatever you want to call it, 
just by this series. Obviously, if you do want to go with a bigger tank from JVJ or a smaller one or whatever it is, I want you to be able to use the same techniques for pretty much any tank uh, you ever set up in the future. So that's really my main goal. And then as well, uh, I do want to do it on a budget. I don't want to do it like I did for my JVJ 45 gallon where I literally went all out. Like that thing's running top of the line everything. The only thing needed on that thing is like an Apex controller. Um, but I, that's not my plan for this. So guys, that's going to be it for this unboxing of the JVJ 15 gallon QB. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you, you know, learned something, found it very entertaining. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. Also guys, be sure to check me out on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe, guys. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll be able to follow me, seeing all the updates, and you know, you'll be able to get notified. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.